Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Will Told Tarot. This is your weekly reading from the 28th of January to the 3rd of February 2019 for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Sagittarius. Here are the cards. We've got the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Page of Cups, the Nine of Wands, the Star and the Three of Cups. I've also pulled two cards and this is from the Angels and Ancestors Oracle cards uh, which are beautiful absolutely stunning messages so I'm going to start with yeah I'm going to start with these two cards so we'll start with the the Ten of Swords Swords can very much be linked to the mind and this is where you may well have been literally stabbed in the back by people, could be at work, could be at home, could be with friendships, could be in a relationship. And there's been dark clouds hanging over your mind. This can be representative of negative energy in the mind, um, not being able to get past negative thoughts, not being able to think straight. Something that's had you feeling very down, down on the ground, um, not mean it, being able to think clearly and put your life into perspective the swords are about truth and clarity and it said you needed to see the situation for what it is to get an ending and this is an ending it's the 10 but are you really letting go Sagittarius that's the question because we have the eight of swords here the eight of swords can be about self-sabotage there's a blindfold on and these shackles can be loosened to be removed, the blindfold can be removed, this person can walk away. The swords aren't actually keeping this person caged in, they're either side of this person. There's a path clearly going, for, going forward from this person. So why are they feeling stuck? This is about mental energy, this is about feeling stuck mentally, this is about an inner conflict from within. And it's an illusion, this card is an illusion. Because you have the remedy for the problem. The choice is to walk away and not allow negative feelings, negative emotions to own you anymore. You need to take ownership back of your life and move on. This is about ownership. This is about owning your life and moving forward with purpose and not allowing anything else to put you down, to make you feel stuck, to stop you from moving on to reach your full potential. So the swords, again, they represent truth and clarity. And you need to see, you need to take that blindfold off and see the truth and clarity of the situation. And I know, certainly for some of you, times have been very, very tough for a number of different situations. I do read the comments on, on, the, uh, on my site but it's a time when you, you're either going to be owned by negative thoughts, negative mindsets, or you're going to release from them, or you're going to choose to move forward. And this is about getting control back of your mind, your mental energy, what you allow to own and dominate you. And I kind of think that there is a change coming. Now, this could be about self-love. And this could also be about surprising yourself. You see the fish popping out of the cup. It's very Pisces and it's talking about you could actually surprise yourself with your own emotions. Um, this is all to do with emotions. You see the emotions in the background, how they're slowly rocking up and down. There's a choice to be made on whether you're going to allow yourself to be dominated by emotions or you're going to get a grip of them now. You're going to bring love into the equation. You're going to see the happier side to love yourself. This could be an offer of love, but I kind of think this could be a change in your perception of how you feel about yourself, maybe. I just think that, that this is about a change in your your mind where you've actually allowed your, yourself to feel less than because you're on the ground. I think confidence was at play here. I think something took your confidence, someone took your confidence and it's owned you for a while. 
certainly for some of you, you've been owned by, for a while by negative energies, not being able to move forward. But I kind of think this idea of self-love is coming back. And you might surprise when you start that change of mindset, when you start changing how you feel. Um, feel, I'm saying feel in terms of emotions. This idea of self-love could change your whole perspective on things when you start opening up, opening up your heart to feel again, to feel positively about life. And I think you are doing. This is you standing your ground. Yeah, this is under the 10. Something that had you feel down, something that had you feel stuck, something that's been getting you down, negative thoughts, negative mindsets. But you're fighting on. This is about taking action. This is about moving forward, regardless of what anybody else says. This is about finding that fiery spirit again, which is you, Sagittarius, or fire sign. This is finding that fiery spirit within to push forward, to not allow other people to dominate you, to take your ownership back of your life and to stand your ground. And I think you are taking, you're going to be beginning to take action in your life. And when you change this whole mindset and start moving forward, the star appears. This is divine energy. This is beautiful energy. This is about growth. And why do I say that? Because not only can she replenish this cup, but she pours into the, the lake. She knows that she can refill this cup whenever she needs to. But also she pours water onto the earth to make it to fertilize the earth and make it grow. This is a card of growth. This is a card of expansion. This is a card of the divine universe bringing you rewards on wish fulfillment. Your dreams, your ambitions can be made real with the star card. And again, the star energy, a guidance energy, a guidance energy to give you purpose. You know where you're going. You have the capacity to move past this point and start seeing things clearly and move, maybe in a new direction or maybe finding a direction to move in now, finding a purpose. This could also be about opening your heart. This could be about restoration, healing from the past. But you're moving forward, Sagittarius, with real purpose now and real determination. This is self-confidence again. This is the replenishment of self-confidence, self-love, self-awareness, self-ambition and drive. Goal-orientated. And... The Three of Cups. This can be other people supporting you emotionally, making you feel stronger, making you feel more confident. People who you have a close connection with, people that you trust, people that are honest and true to you, people that wouldn't let you down in this kind of situation. This is a card for celebration as well. Maybe coming through the other side of a difficult situation is to be celebrated, to acknowledge friends, family. Maybe in this situation, you've cut yourself off from friends and family. And now is the time to rekindle those relationships, to rekindle and appreciate those people who support you and only want the best for you. It can be about communication as well. People supporting you, people communicating with you. It can be about connections, but I kind of think it is supportive messages, communication, good communication to help build that confidence, that self-belief again, that self-confidence that's so lacked, I think, in this relationship, in this, whatever this was, and with whatever relationship, whether it's at work or in love or in friendships. Um, you're moving forward now, Sagittarius, with purpose. And I think you're taking ownership of your life. This is about owning your life, owning your mind not allowing other people to own it, owning your power. The first card is 
Traveller, move in a new direction. So, traveller, move in a new direction. I'll just read that out to you, Sagittarius. Welcome any opportunities to travel, either to the outer world or to your inner worlds. The road you are on may be the road less travelled, but this journey is going to be highly beneficial for your emotional and spiritual growth. If it isn't about out covering outer distance, it's about covering distance within. And you will be evolving every single moment of it. Remember to keep things simple and to lighten your load, because that will make your journey more enjoyable. You are also being encouraged to see how far you've come and how far you've really grown as a person, because this recognition will support you in going even further. And there's a good chance that along the way, you will make friends who will become companions for life. What did I say? The next card is a wonderful card. This is the Father Sky, trust in the unknown. This is the universe, universal energy guiding you, the star. Trust that your path is unfolding exactly as it needs to. You have a personal relationship with a great father. Know that he is lovingly leading you forward. You are a co-creator of your life. And every thought, feeling, intention and emotion you have is creating the road ahead. With that being said, you don't need to know every single detail of what is going to unfold before you. When this card appears, you are being guided to step back and get out of your own way. Because there is a greater power that is not only around you but within you. And Father Sky is creating the best experience imaginable for you. Accepting this will allow miraculous energy to come into your life. So see things from a higher perspective, like the eagle on this card. I think that's a beautiful reading. I think you're beginning to believe in yourself and take ownership of your mind, your energy, your life. But the universe is also bringing beautiful things, beautiful blessings. This is a card of blessings. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great week, Sagittarius, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.